on tour in the fall. In we're, the fall. We're going to be in Rochester, New York. Yeah, baby. Then we're coming to Northfield, which is Cleveland, Ohio. Homestead, Pennsylvania. Is. Homestead, Pennsylvania. We're doing two shows. That's basically <laughs> Pittsburgh. The first one sold out. Come to the late show. Then where do we go? Boston, Mass. Boston. We are in Boston, Massachusetts. D.C. Washington, D.C. Denver. Denver, Colorado. Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sh- then Chicago, my hometown. Minnesota, Minneapolis. Then Minneapolis, Minnesota, the Twin Cities. And we end it all in Madison, Madison Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Come the, check us out. It's come check be great. us out. Go to Woo! badfriendspod.com. We're adding dates as we go. Badfriendspod.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Oh, well, you two are something. We're bad friends. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I'm not, I'm like, I've always been, I've never looked at a cop in the eyes. You can't. <laughs> when they pull me over, I'm always, you know what you do is you look at their ear. What? Yeah, I always look at their right ear. Look at me. I'm looking at your ear right now. So you're the cop. Yeah. Right? So this is what I do. Go ahead. You know why I pulled you over? No. Whoa. <laughs> See? I got to tell you, I don't know if it's your eyes, but it's wor- I-, I can't tell what you're looking at. Exactly. This is amazing. It's amazing. Maybe it's your eyes. Let me do it to you. And let right, me see I, if you let, can let tell. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Boot, boot, boot. And I go, hello. Uh, wait, wait. The cops say hello. <laughs> yeah. But- <laughs> What do they say? Cops say stuff like, oh, uh, yeah. um, license you know, and registration. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to see the Do you know why I pulled you over? Um, <laughs> I've never seen a little Korean cop before. No. I'm out of here. Oh, wow. Uh, gone. You'd be gone? Yeah, I'm gone in a heartbeat. You're you, not getting me. I've been pulled over by mostly Asian cops. In Southern California, we got a lot. A I lot, think, look it, up the, look at, look it up. I think actually the majority of cops in Southern California are Mexican. I think it's like 54% Latino. Well, it's just the majority of California is Mexican. Well, no shit, fancy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and you, whenever an Asian cop pulls me over, I'm, I mock them. Look, it's <laughs> like they're chasing you. Asians only, Asians only make up 10% of police officers. So when they go, do you know why I pulled you over? I go, do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> And I always get a ticket. <laughs> he goes, do, he stutters. Do, do you, do you, you go, you go, do, 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 you know why I pulled you over? Yeah. yeah give me the ticket. Yeah. And in the back, I'm in the back seat. I, I come in, I go, gong. <laughs> <laughs> 21, okay, 61% of federal law enforcement officers were white. Twenty. You got to do California. You got to do California. California. What percentage of cops are, are Mexican in California? I guarantee you. But it's... whites are the scariest cops. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. What, dude, Oh yeah. for yeah. me growing up, whites were always the scariest cops. Because what? you were in San Diego. Big dude, whites. in Poway, there is a fucking saying. What is it? I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> but I know there is. But generally what the saying is, is yeah. that they pull you over more, than off, more often than not. <laughs> that's that's the, the saying? Yes. You know those white cops, they're going to they pull, pull you over, over a lot, more a lot, often than a lot. not. Although I haven't been pulled over in LA in 12 years. What? I have not been pulled over in 12 years. When was the last time you got pulled over? Uh, it was a couple years ago in Arkansas. Here in in LA, I said. <laughs> never. You've never been pulled over in LA. <laughs> what was that? Whoa. You know What's what? going on uh, with you yeah, guys? There's, there, there's yeah, tension there, there, here. Uh, Pull the mic closer to yours, yeah, yeah. Rudy. Yeah, listen. Listen to me. <laughs> what's going on <laughs> between you guys? There's something going on, right? Listen to me. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, what's going on with you? I don't know. Because since I've been here... You've been acting <laughs> aloof, and I feel like another doc's happening. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Do you have beef with him? Yeah, is there a doc beef going on? Because it's like, I need to know. He knows what he's doing. Oh, what do I know I'm doing? I have a theory. What What's is a theory? It? I think over the tour, Bobby and I became very close. Mm-hmm. And I think, I don't, I, you know him longer than me, but I think he's scared of how close we got. Oh. And I think now he's actively trying to push me away. And I, you Do know, you do that? Do you think you do that? Do you think you push people away they get too close? <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that a pattern with them? I think I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, at yeah, the comedy store. We've scar- gone through huge waves of being close, not talking. Being close, yeah. not talking. Well, it's happening to me now. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it. What well, can I say this? Though? Welcome to the club, kid. <laughs> when I'm coming to the club, who am I with? Sometimes no one. And so- is that am I the rudest then? <laughs> you lately I feel like I'm more rude when I'm with somebody. <laughs> That, I will say that, but okay. you're always rude <laughs> lately. In what way, though? Why well, I just don't look at you. Well, yeah, and you you make it like, uh, don't look at me. Oh, like, no. Like, you don't want me looking at you. And, and it's... do I say to you, don't look at me? Sometimes. I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'll, go, I'll walk up to you and go, hey, man, just for the tonight, don't look at me. Or you look really fake and you smile really vague. No, that's real. And you go, Hi. You know what? I'm fucking tired Hi. of people <laughs> telling me that my fucking smiles are fucking fabricated and not real. Let's go through. So I'll, I'll, you, you, yeah, show uh, Andrew what you This did. is the smile I give her. That's real. <laughs> no, it looks like you're going to kill that me. That looks pretty real to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. I won the lottery. He, so, he was also holding a hallway. knife up to my neck. Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh. I won? <laughs> you were I'm also holding, a, holding knife. a knife up to my neck. I would never do that. All right, say I hi to me and I'll say hi in with a smile. Tell me if this is fake or real. Hey, Andrew. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> was that real? That's real for me. Yeah. That's just about as real yeah, as I guess. Yeah, yeah, when I see okay. you, that's what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I apologize. I'm misreading the situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, you know what? You're right. I should I should check my behavior. I've been at the club twice now, the improv and the store, and I see you either in the corner of my eye or on the lineup, and I just don't say hi to you anymore. Whoa, you this is weird. I didn't know this was going on. I was out and about. I have no, I haven't been around in a while, so I don't know what's going. I didn't know that there was a little bit of he's, undercurrent. He's Zuko. Zuko. When I'm, you're, are you Danny Zuko in her? Yeah, we oh had a... <laughs> shit! You mean it from the movie The Grace? Yeah. So I'm loving having <laughs> some bond. That's my favorite lyric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having some bond. <laughs> having some bond, dude. Bon bonds. Look, Danny Zook, by the way. Yeah. What a babe. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're Zuko in her, dude. Zuko. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, because we're no longer in the summer. We had a great. No, summer. we're back at school, and when we're back at school, Danny Zuko is, you know. You realize we're in the middle of summer right now. Yeah, it's still summer. No, but, the, but when, when, when I say summer, I mean the tour. Oh, okay. <laughs> the tour was summer, like de like in Greece. And now we're in school. Right? And now we're in school and we're back in class. Go going to the comedy store is like a school. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'll get it. We're there every night, right? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm too cool for school for you. That's yeah. so funny. This feels like <laughs> mean girls where you're like you're like talking shit about her at right after you hang out. Because with I don't her. want a McCone to happen. Yeah, but I'm getting Rest in peace, by the way, McCone. <laughs> he died? He sure did. He does. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I apologize, and I'm going to be more mindful about how I treat you. Wow. And I will, you know, those fake smiles, I'm going to keep doing them because that's <laughs> how I feel. You don't have to fake smile to me. Okay, how about... Uh, I'm, In I'm, fact, I'm, I love you so much. If it is a status thing for you, for me to socialize with you amongst your friends, <laughs> <laughs> I'll hide in the corner. I think you're just being ultra sensitive. <laughs> I think I'm being an appropriate reaction. You think, you think it's appropriate reaction? Yeah. What do you think we are? I think we're friends. What do you think it is? I don't think it's friends. Well, are you talking about you two? No, just in general, Jewel, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that says it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You're Jesse, right? Surrogate. Yeah. I think Jesse is, um, I view her like a daughter. I thought you were going to say a dog. <laughs> a dog daughter? Yeah, kind of like a dog daughter. Yeah, yeah a dog daughter, right? Yeah. Also, you're an employee. Sit. Sit. You're an employee. Yeah. Right? So I'm kind of your boss. No, you're literally her boss. I'm yeah. literally your boss. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, how do you treat your employees? How do you treat your 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 employee who's also like your shit. daughter? Like shit. Oh, so do, you, do you, wait, 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 stop. Uh, Family business. You think I treat you like oh, shit? No. You think I treat you like shit? No, we're talking about her. Okay, good, good. It's so funny to have you yell at him in a clip, going, "You think I treat <laughs> you like shit?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A you right. don't you don't treat her like shit either. No, no, no I don't. you don't. No, no. There's nobody gets treated like shit in here except. For when Carlos is Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Because he's a said. shit human. <laughs> well, I know, he's a good guy. Well, he's a good guy. But Jess, can I say this? Yeah, yeah. If you came out to me in life <laughs> and whatever you needed, I would provide for you. Even like a hello? No, not that. No, <laughs> no but if you're like. You mean something real. My toes <laughs> fell off. My why? Why are your toes falling? Off? <laughs> I don't know, like, Where are you? I'm just trying to create some sort of like physical thing that could. Happen. I get it, but I like okay. it. No, but like you know, you got black toes. Okay. Careful. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm saying is, is that Careful. I'm not like James Baldwin black toes. You know what I mean? He's is black. black feet like black face? If you put on black, <laughs> is that bad? Yeah, it's, white, white, I can dance now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When white people go to Antarctica and they're and they get black feet from the fucking, you know what I mean? Snow. They're they get canceled. canceled. That, they should get canceled. <laughs> Those aren't your toes, man. That's fucking black toes. Well, if you have black hands, look <laughs> up, look up frostbite hands. Yeah, yeah. When they have that and they come back, we should publicly cancel. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It's insane. Wow, it's insane. That this happens, by the way. I know. That you're out there long enough to lose your fingers. I know. Why it's would crazy. you ever do that? Well, you maybe you're stranded. That's look at how many times it's on the internet. <laughs> These people aren't all stranded. Do why do people do get why do they get black toes though in Anyway, if you were in the comedy store. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Why do you get black toes from frostbite? Yeah, what is it? What's that about? It's dead. It died. You're like the nerves Holy are dead. Fuck. Like there's yeah. no blood circulating. And then do you have to chop them off or does it fall off automatically? I mean, if they're they're usually not fixable when it's at that degree. They just they have to cut them off. So it's, it's like gangrene. I guess yeah, that's the yeah, they it's got to go. Hey, yeah. that's what they say. They walk in, they go, "Got to go." Is it green gangrene or is it just an arbitrary It's like a it's like a shade of green. Because <laughs> if it's purple it would make any, no sense. Pur purple green. Yeah, no, like gain purple. Go ahead. Did you, you watch Indy? Indy? Did you watch Indy? Mm. -mm. New Indiana Jones, are you not going to go see it? I've never, I honestly, can I say something? You've never seen the original. I've never seen any Indiana Jones. Not true. What? In my life. I know what it is. He's a professor or something, right? Wait a minute. Oh Dude, my you've God. never seen Raiders of the Lost Ark? <laughs> no, I, just, I, I don't know why, but as a kid, I thought it was more of a um, historical kind of a you, movie. You, of all people, I don't would think I like fucking love. I, I don't believe it. it. I've never seen Indiana Jones. That's wow. wild. He's I know what it is. <laughs> He's real. This I is know some, what it is. He's real. Ask me questions. I know what it is. There's a boulder because it's in pop culture. Like you and it, like you I know. He knows a Harry Potter. Yeah, I know like boulders. Me. I know that he has a whip yeah, in yeah. the posters. <laughs> what does he do that with? Slaves. There's Really? He owns, I know it's not about slaves. He owns yeah. slaves. That's what the whip is for in Indiana Jones. Whoa. Yeah. That's why Indiana, the Midwest. Oh, it's it's slave owner. South Indiana. No, I saw because I know that Short Round is a character. <laughs> right, which is like the guy that was in a yeah, right, um, everything data everywhere. From, and he's in that new movie. My point is, is that no, he owns slaves. And I, and I something I saw a clip of them in Asia, but it could have been Indiana. I don't know. Well, tell me, but is it good though? It's fucking amazing. How many of there's like twenty movies though, right? Or no, something? it's not twenty of them. There's like five, five four or five. Yeah, mm. pretty good in ones. Too, what can I watch this one and not watch the other ones? Yes, I'm sure. I'm watch it. Though. I'm sure many people they've done this because this is so long ago. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure they make in it where you can see anything. But Sean Connery is in, in Indiana the third Jones. One. What does he He's play? in the third one. He plays his father. Are you fucking kidding me? He doesn't believe him, but yes. He does. What do you think the Temple of Doom is about? <sighs> Holy fuck, that's a movie? What do you think it's about? <laughs> well, I mean just based on the word, right? There's a temple. No, that's what people would think. <laughs> really? There's no yeah. temple? No temple. It's this temple. Oh, the temple oh the body's a temple. Yeah. It's your brain. Right. And inside your body is bad things going on. Doom. Doom. <laughs> yeah. Doom and gloom, dude. Right. Right? So it's a guy. Oh, Temple of Doom is the enemy in the movie. And the enemy is who? Yourself. Oh, so yeah. Indiana Jones is the Temple of Doom? <laughs> Doom. Uh. M. Doom. Do oh do not Dune. Doom. Dune? Is a different movie. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't Dune. I like Dune. I like anything sci-fi. My point is, is that so the Temple of Dune is really a reflection of Indiana Jones' own body. So it's happening within himself. Mm -hmm. It's a very introspective film. Whoa. There's no adventure. I low, thought it was adventure. No, low yeah. action, high high introspective, <laughs> weird visuals. There is Lots like a ten minute scene where he whips himself, but that's. No, I think you're kidding. No, no way. That's no. Does it sound like? It's a hit. It doesn't sound like a real thing. First of all, yeah. he's hitting himself. He's being forced to do this. Like from outside voices. He's hearing voices. He's schizophrenic. Is Short Round his son? Because I haven't seen any. Uh, is he, short, how many movies short, is he in? Short Round is literally in the first two seconds of the film. He's the cab driver. That's it. Asian he drops driver. him off. They Each movie starts with him coming in uh, off a plane, off a military plane. And Short Round picks him up from the thing. Every movie picks him up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, great to see you, Indy. Indy, <laughs> Indy. And then he drops him off. But he knows who he is because he's famous. He's Whoa. a famous slave owner, Indiana Jones. Oh, with the, yeah. oh he had Asians too? Yes. What well, he mean? was the best. Wait, what slaves do you think he had? <clears throat> the black guy ones. No, Asians. It was all Asian slaves. That's oh, disgusting. There was in, there's Asian slaves in Indiana back in the day. Where do you think you guys got your start here in the United States? No, you're fu over the railroads. <laughs> Where do you think that went to? Chugga, 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 chugga. Indiana, oh, Indiana, Indiana, in the middle of the country. So which one did I start with? The first one? I think mix it up. I think go to see this one right now. I just feel like it's too late, you know, because I haven't seen Back to the Future either. <laughs> okay. It's too late. Now this we can't play out on the fucking show. Big oof. <laughs> no one's going to believe that. I really haven't seen Back to the Future. That you have. How do you know? Because because it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. No, it's, it's impossible. it is impossible. To it's not impossible not to see Back it to the Future. It is impossible to not have seen Back to the Future. It's almost like one of those things. It was like it chipped in our brain somehow. Yeah, it's almost as impossible as not seeing Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey. Yeah. You're close to getting fired. You're getting fired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I, but I want to see the Dial of Destiny. I do want to see it. 
Oh, you haven't seen it yet? No. Why'd you, you bring it up? I saw it. Because I was asking if you've seen it. No. Wait, you said it was amazing earlier. <laughs> no, I'm, Indiana I'm Jones was amazing. Oh, I, I haven't seen it. Dial of Destiny. That's the new one. Oh, I see. I really want to see it. But I'm also hesitant because I like the original so much that I'm like, is this going to be yucky? It is. See? he. Did, I know. That's yeah. why I'm... It was bad, wasn't it? Let me can I, just, I have the a magic is gone. The magic is I gone. I have a trivia question. Damn it. Who is the I uh, you probably already know this. I'm going to ask you. You know you've seen the Indiana Jones? Mm -hmm. Who is the original person they wanted but he couldn't do it because he was on another TV show? Do you know? I do know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um I yeah, it was um Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You haven't seen it, so how do you know if I'm wrong? No, she's right, because no. he, he was shooting Wild Wild West when he got asked No, that do. was way too younger. I'm not dumb. Buddy, yeah. Wild Wild West it was, it, came out at the exact same time no, as it Indiana it Jones. it was Tom Selleck. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Was that a Tom Selleck? It Tom was Tom Selleck, Selleck. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. It'd be just as good. Tom Selleck's the fucking man. Yeah, but it... it Mr. Baseball. That was one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> What's a Mr. Mr. Baseball? Mr. Baseball? Mr. Baseball? Mr. Baseball. What is it? He's like a hot shot. Look up Mr. Baseball so you can <laughs> see what it is. Are you kidding me? Look at me. He's yeah, yeah. a hot shot MLB player who then is on the end of, end of his ropes of his career, and he sent, he goes to play baseball in Japan. Falls in love with the base, commissioner of baseball's oh my daughter. God. Oh, Mr. My God. Baseball. Oh, oh, it's an Asian movie. Yeah, he plays for the Oh, Dragons. Kenny Watanabe's in it. Yes. Dude, it's such a good movie, Mr. Baseball. I, I love it. it. You guys have never heard of this? Uh-uh. Nobody? Yeah, Getty Watanabe was in a movie called... Long, uh, 16 Candles, he played Long Duck Dong. That's right, Long Duck Dong. There was another movie called Gung Ho. And so when I was on Magnum once, I asked, um, can we get getting that one Nabi for this one part? And they got him. So I got to work with him. Whoa. And I sat with um, getting one Nabi for a week. And I asked peppered him with questions, but it was really interesting. I go, <laughs> you know, because, you know, Long Duck Dong, that character, you know, it's kind of had, there's a backlash on that character because Asians are like, well, that was so stereotypical, this and that. Sure. You know what I mean? And then some actors even say, like, why would he do Listen, he's an actor. Every Asian actor, right, in America vied to get that part because it was the only one available. Sure. Right? Yeah. I would have been like, what's happening? A hot stopper. <laughs> like, I would, you, my audition, I would have been like, what's happening? A hot stopper. I, I would have been so, I would have done anything. I would suck everyone's dick. I, I suck a dick, so hot stopper. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I would fuck the executive, you know, just to get that part. What the fuck, you know? So, uh, you know, I, I, I look, I get it, I get it. I go, get it, you know? I get it. You get it. Yeah, and congratulations for doing that role, and you killed it. He did. He took what was given, mm -hmm. and he fucking killed it. He did kill it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, Japan should do a movie about sending Shohei Otani here. No, like a sumo wrestle going to like Louisiana <laughs> with fat white people. Oh, that would be insanely. Funny. That'd be great. You know what I mean? Mr. Sumo. <laughs> what would it be the other way? Sumo. Mr. Sumo. <laughs> Mr. Sumo. Well, look at this here sumo, dude. Yeah, they, that's what they should do to get revenge. It just send a sumo wrestler to Louisiana? Yeah. Come on down. Come on down, yeah. And they could have, like, you know, some fun times. But the sumo guy, then, he would slowly transition into being, like, a southern boy because he start falls in love with Japan. Really? Yeah, he falls yeah. in love with Japan. He falls in love with a woman in the country. You think a fat sumo, uh, sumo guy, yeah. a white girl, would go out with him or not? Would that be believable? It'd be so funny. That'd be so funny. <laughs> well, could I be him? Yeah. Yes. No. You'd have to gain, like, 500 I'll fucking pounds. I'll do it for the fucking movie. Well, then let's do it. I want to plug Aren't you, you up. What, if it's a good, if it's A24 movie. <laughs> I would do it. What would you willing to do? Uh, anything. Say we, it. Okay, so. I would do I'm it. I'm A24. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Hey man. Yeah, and you know we don't. We, we you know we're an organic company. Oh, that I know. Yeah, and what's method? Yeah, yeah, and um, you know we're doing a movie about one eye man. About one eye man. <laughs> yeah, one eye man. Oh wow! It's based on One Punch Man, but this yeah, it's One Punch Man is a very funny yeah a, a great a animation movie right yeah. There's a one eye man. Is right? there? He has one eye. Cool. A white guy, but he lives in post-apocalyptic Japan. Whoa. White. You have to lose an eye. <laughs> You don't think we could CGI it? We're not it? CGI We're not gonna. Organic. Right. We're, we're natural. Let me just pitch this. Yeah. We put an eye patch over the eye that you want gone, and we CGI No it. eye. No eye. Okay, let me think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No? No. Okay, all right. Well, then you're not Are you going to lose an you're eye? You're not willing. Would you lose an eye? It depends on how much money it is. <laughs> Two million. No. Ten. If it's like 25 million... <laughs> I would lose an eye. Okay, that's weird. Because I just when I said ten to you, I thought you'd say yes. Because I said yes in ten in my mind. I'd lose an eye for ten. Ten million. Come on. Take it out. Twenty-five. 10. Because you're not gonna. What, because after that. Do you hear that? A twenty-four. I'll do it for less. <laughs> right. Also, after that, right, you're gonna be in auditions. Does it have to be a twenty-four? 
Yeah, it does. It has to be A24. Yeah, but yeah. wait a minute. Well, you're the audition. Now you're the guy with one eye. That's you're what I'm a, saying. So every audition, item. you're like, I'm not going to get this. No, spot. that's a good thing. Uh, what? D diversity. Oh, Are the one eyed Korean guy? Yeah. Oh, they're out here. <laughs> DoorDash! Y'all. You know, I, I never go out anymore. I only get delivery. Yep. And I go to DoorDash because it's the best. Guys, they have the best options. They're precise. The, 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 the drivers are the best. It's the best. And the by best. the way, back to school shopping is coming. And all the chaos that comes along with it. With DoorDash, you can be first day ready with pantry staples and classroom supplies to make a good first impression without all the stress. With DoorDash, you'll enjoy next level convenience with delivery in the hour, making it easier than ever to get your back to school needs fast. All of your favorite retail, grocery, and convenience stores are on the app so you can shop everything your kids need to go back to school. So here's the deal. Most people just think DoorDash is getting food delivery to their home, but that's not true. You can get everything Glue. you need. Glue, pencils, paper, Little uh, butterfly uh, clips for your hair that Bobby used to love that he doesn't wear anymore that I bought for yeah, him one yeah, time. Yeah. Be prepared before the big day arrives. Stock up uh, with on-the-go breakfast, lunch, box staples, and all the brands that your little ones love. Shop DoorDash to get everything you need for back-to-school season delivered right to your door. Order now for stress-free back-to-school shopping. Use promo code FRIEND2023 to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more at convenience, grocery, or retail stores on DoorDash. That's 50% off your next order. Terms apply. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more. Promo code FRIEND2023. Don't forget, that's code FRIEND2023 for 50% off. Your next order terms apply. Bespoke Post. You know what my favorite thing in the whole world is? Bespoke Bo Post. Box of Awesome. Look at Fancy's bringing me one right now. I just got another one in the mail not too long ago. The Box of Awesome is incredible. For people that don't know what it is, it is a beautiful box filled with goodies, knickknacks, essentials, uh, fun things, whether it's gifts, for yourself, for others. It's, There's so much in here. It's so easy to get started. Take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. Look, at you get so much cool stuff, whether it's Hawkins and Brimble. This is daily moisturizer, which I've told you to use three or four times. I've been using listening. it on my legs. Oh, it's just on, it's on yeah. your, it's for your face, but that's fine on your legs. Each box of awesome <laughs> is valued around $70, but you're going to pay a fraction of that price. And my favorite part, and I mean this, 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small and upcoming brand. So you're supporting local businesses, small businesses. That's the American way, baby. Are there other boxes? You can have my Scorch is a box. Yeah, I love Scorch. Scorch is great. Hot sauces from small brands all over the country with some from Texas, Nevada, to California, and more. There's I, all, give me give me another box. They have so many boxes down there. The Terra, they just sent us the Terra uh, a week ago. That's the knife in the Terra box. It's made from bare bones based in Salt Lake City. Love Salt Lake City. And I love these small businesses because it gives them a chance to be in a cool box, whether it's for you or for a gift. So how do they get it, Bob? Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofoxen.com and enter code Bad friends at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code is bad friends for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code bad friends. Right. Get me the one eyed Korean guy. That's what they say. And I could do like if they do a Korean Cyclops movie. Who else? I could just do this. <laughs> You're a Marvel superhero they can move overnight. It. They can move a tear. <laughs> you go from A24 cool indie right. to superhero so, Marvel yeah, movie yeah. overnight. Overnight. Yep. Right. But can they move the eye to here? <laughs> yeah. I think we'll have to. Right. Thank you. Overnight, Shift you it. become a star. That'd be great. I saw a clip the other day that said Edward Norton said that he's never made a dime doing Wes Anderson movies. Never once. What are you talking about? You can Google it. He hey. said, I think he's from Moonrise Kingdom. He made $4,200 <laughs> total. Because if you I look, know he if made you no look money. at the Asteroid City, you look, up you look at their cast. cast. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every single one of their cast is a gigantic star yeah. who usually gets millions for a part, right? Yeah. And, I, and you look at uh, Wes Anderson movies, what it does in the box office. I love. I've seen all of them, Me but too. they're not like you know what I mean. They don't. They're not. They're not. They're not box money. Office smashes. Yeah, they're not smashes. No. So I, 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 one hundred percent agree. Yeah, but that's crazy. The forty two hundred for a whole for a whole yeah. film for a guy like that. <laughs> that's like a Woody Allen movies in the past and all of that. Yeah. People yeah. Just want now, to them. now it would be a lot cheaper to do a Woody Allen. Movie. <laughs> I bet you he'd have to pay a lot of money. Woody calls. Let, let, let me, Woody calls. <laughs> Bobby, do you yeah. want? Would you like to be in one of my films? If I can play Sun Yi. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I'm Sun Yi. You know what I mean? Your wife. It. I don't feel that way about it. <laughs> yeah. Did it I is mean? an inter interesting question. It's like, I'm asking you as an actor, right, mm -hmm. too, you know, um, and you too as, um, would you prefer to do a, you know, a critically acclaimed movie that's going to get awards, but you're only going to make a couple of thousand dollars or some trashy blockbuster thing where you make five million, ten million, and it doesn't get any awards or prestige. 
See, it's hard for that's hard for me because I don't care about the awards and the prestige. I just care that it's good. I want it. To, I wish it could be good. Yeah. But if you're telling me on the table is a fucking Marvel franchise mm. that everyone's gonna laugh at me for the rest of my fucking life, are they? Well, let's. No, I don't I, think they will. No, I'm saying in this scenario, let's just say it's a Marvel franchise, and I'm not taking a shot. It's okay. But like Ant Man is kind of a bummer. For yeah. Paul Rudd is such a fucking cool dude. And not that Ant Man's bad. Wasn't bad. The it last just, one was bad. Yeah, but I mean, the franchise in and of itself is kind of like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No one's making fun of fucking Paul Rudd because he's the shit. <laughs> he's the shit. Okay, but I'm saying, but doing like Ant Man versus doing like everything everywhere all at once for like no money at all, yeah. literally like fucking not making any money. Yeah. I, I, I. Probably fucking do Ant Man. <laughs> really? Here's why. And Here's why. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. I know why. Because Go a lot ahead. of a lot of those actors that you read why. about that do those beautiful indie movies, they're fucking they they're broke and they don't get any more work. And people are like, "Wait, didn't you make? Didn't you?" And they're like, "No." After I got off that movie, nobody gave me any fucking money. The point of what's going on in our fucking in our business right now is because nobody's getting paid anymore. Yeah. And the fucking big cats up top are keeping all the money. So yeah, I'm gonna steal the fucking money from these scumbags. Because they're robbing us our whole career. Also, I just did four independent comedy movies, right? You made 30 bucks. Not just the 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah. When you're shooting, you can feel it. Yeah. There's 15 guys in a little room, no air conditioning, right? And you have fucking corn nuts. As That's the only thing you get for your, your craft service, right? Yeah. You make no money. You're there forever. All day, all and night. And two years ago, I did Borderlands with all those stars, right? I'm at the Four Seasons, eating nice food. <laughs> mm -hmm. The catering is amazing. I mean, everything's amazing. You feel, right, like, oh my God, you know what I mean? I'm a part of it. Even if you're underpaid for that movie for Borderlands, yeah. it's still, all the perks are nice. Okay, so I, I'm 50-50, because I agree sometimes. Like, I did cur Curb, you don't make any money on Curb. It was a dream of mine. So it's like, there's things that you want to do that are a dream, but I don't want to make a big career move for a dream, because they're, who knows if it'll pay off. But that's why I actors do both. Yeah, if you're lucky, if you're enough, lucky, that's my point. Yeah. Most people aren't lucky enough. To Tom just, Hanks like, can dip down and go. I'll do Asteroid City for nothing. The only, he's one of the only he's ones a I can billionaire. do that. Yeah, he can do that when he's yeah. already like at yeah. the top. It's like when uh, we've talked about this, but like it's like when Jim Carrey is like, you know, everything is fake and money means nothing and life is f fake, and you're like, yeah, because. You don't. You haven't been to the grocery store in twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No shit, it's I, I, fake. Yeah, go yeah. to go to. I went to the hardware store today. Yeah. You, when you don't have to do those things, you lose reality fast. Yeah. When, yeah. When you, I was on my roof today, blowing off the fucking shit from my roof, so I didn't ruin the the roof because it stains from the tree. I was <laughs> up there, and my neighbor was smoking pot, and I'm. <laughs> that's me. Yeah. When I, Jim Carrey's not on his roof blowing shit off. I was at the coffee bean earlier, right? I was sitting there waiting for my Vietnamese co iced coffee, and a guy <laughs> came up to me and he goes, "Wait, no entourage." I go, "Who the fuck do you think I am?" <laughs> you know what I mean. You know, By the I, way, I, yeah. can we start bringing entourages somewhere? Yeah, I will. But like people that don't look like they should be our entourage. No, I want to bring, I know exactly who my crew is. You have Carlos. No, yeah. I'm going to use Dan Ramos. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who that is. You know Dan Ramos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dan Ro Ramos is a- Dan he, Ramos? Yeah, yeah, he looks like a Filipino insect. <laughs> Dan Ramos comedy. <laughs> this dude is has looks Filipino. like he hasn't taken a shower. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, that guy. I've seen him before. The, 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 the second photo order to the left, far left. The second photo to the all far left. Far, one, le far left. Far left. Down. Second row. There you go. Down. No, no, the one, not that one. The one right next to that one. The obvious one that we want to see that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that one. That's who he is. I got to have him in my entourage. Oh, I mean, yeah. Who else do you need Because that? people walk away. You say a Filipino insect. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. Why? No, it's accurate. I, I, don't, I don't even know what they look like, but I imagine it looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Filipinos. Some, yeah. All. Some. Except for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love him, but I'm just saying. But I, I do you do you have an entourage in your mind? Who who would it, who would I bring along for the ride? Well, I, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a couple of shirt talkers. Shirt talkers? Okay. What's me, that mean? He mean he means white people. Shirt no, talkers? 
shirt tuckers, and I didn't mean oh. the white people. Yeah, he does. He's always derogatory toward the white community. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. A shirt tucker is <laughs> not you a are. derogatory. And let no. me tell you something, brothers. We can't let this guy keep talking to us like this. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Next thing you know, he's going to want to cut off our kids' penises. Mm. So let me tell what you I'm something, white brothers. <laughs> your friends, I've seen some of them, have yeah. golf shirts on, and they tuck it into their khaki pants. Never in a million years. You couldn't even name one. Unless we were golfing. Yeah. We're, when have you ever seen me golf? You've never seen me golf. I've seen you go in and out, like from either you see me go to the golf course exactly yeah in the attire and then after the attire sure but no friends you've never if you I've were seen golfing, your friends I promise you I have where your your cousin my cousin yeah yeah he sometimes wears that kind of clothes when we're golfing <laughs> yeah I I've never seen he's been to three of our shows on tour I've never seen a shirt tucked in but it, never because he does into my you. psyche though no it's not real you're making it up when we're golfing you tuck your shirt in. yeah yeah I don't when like you're it. golfing I don't like it I know I get that. You don't like order. <laughs> this guy never yeah, yeah, tucks yeah, yeah, yeah. his shirt in. No, uh -uh. he doesn't have a shirt. <laughs> he shouldn't be wearing a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my entourage would probably be, um, I keep looking at that picture of you as an Indian AI. That guy. I want that guy. Honestly, I want Indian little people. Uh, Indian little people. Only Indian little people in my entourage. Oh, you would seem wise. Yes, a nobleman. A nobleman. Passing through it would gracefully, slowly. Right. And they're all, they for some reason have candles. Of course they have two candles. Yeah. But one Both of them, hands. only one of them's lit. Oh, one of them's lit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why some people question. Yep. Why, why is only it's one like of them? It's like a yin-yang thing. I love that. You like yin-yang? Yeah. Yeah. Are you more yin or yang? I'm yang. Yeah, I'm more yang too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, way yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, we're outside <laughs> the whole yin-yang. By the way, have you guys seen Indian slap, uh, slap boxing? No. D d oh my God. Really? I've seen the slap being no 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 Indian slap boxing is all over the internet again. Look at this. The, this this is amazing. Okay. Go to the first one. Look at this shit. This is so fucking wonderful. This what? makes me want to go to Hi, India. Mark. Look at these. Look at these. Whoa. So what's happened is they're they're politely they're politely battling. Slap <gasps> slap slap. Oh, it's great. So if you make a fist, they're out. You can't punch. It's slapping. Hmm. And it's in the sand. Look at the beautiful sand. And there's one guy just chilling in the ring. He's meditating. Yeah, he's thinking about all the pain that they're enduring. He's trying to wish their pain away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can throw. I almost posted this today and was like, this is me and Bobby on tour. Yeah. Yeah, you can toss. You can toss. But the slapping is fine. You just can't punch. Okay. It's genius. That guy won for sure. Yeah. I mean, beautiful. I would love to see a woman is there do a female fight. I well, that's know. just how women always fight. That's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. Have you guys ever actually slapped somebody? No, punch. Just only punch. Slap? Yeah. Slaps with weird I've random. slapped asses. No, no. She means like out of aggression. <laughs> yeah, or like... Aggressive. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 trust me, it's aggressive. I, I, I lick my palm and everything. <laughs> Do it right now. What? Let me see. Yeah. Pash! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, no. Do it again. It's actually like this. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's more like harder, it. Baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. Come on, Bobby. Yeah, I want to learn how to fight. Well, get up. Let's do it. Well, I'll... Bobby taught me some moves on the road, some defense moves. <laughs> yeah, just get a gun. Yeah, that would be easier. Let's just get you a gun. Can we get her a gun? <laughs> but I'd rather learn something because what if I forget my gun or it's not loaded now one you keep night? Keep that thing on you, baby. <laughs> you want to learn how to fight? Let's do it. You want to take Krav Maga? What's the best one to take? Krav Maga. I mean that's the Israeli defense, uh, st uh, the Israeli defense shit. Let's let's rank them. Jiu Jitsu is so. Can we rank them. In I just right don't now. like either. You got Jiu Jitsu <laughs> or Krav Maga. I know it's a little shaky. <laughs> yeah. Well, in terms of like, um, what really works in real time, in real life. Yeah. You can look at the MMA and go, okay, so it's like you never see some guy that's like he's a black belt in Taekwondo. Taekwondo isn't probably not going to do it. Right. You never see Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi is moving energy. I know, right? but it's, a, it's still a martial art. It is a martial oh, yeah, art, yeah. and it's for fighting, right or not? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah, right. But I, was, I, I think jujitsu is probably the number one. Yeah, jujitsu is probably that's a number. practical karate. Yeah, that's yeah. a crazy one to start with, though, right? It's Kung so popular Fu. right now, but you're like so up and Kung crazy. Fu. Do you mean karate? Kung Fu, Bruce Lee. Kung, Kung Fu, never heard of it. Kung Fu, Kung what is Fu? that? Is that a dish? Kung Fu Bistro? Yeah, I've been to Kung Fu Bistro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's delicious. So Taekwondo, yeah. Kung Fu, <laughs> Judo. Yeah, Judo's Judo's big. good. Oh, Judo's good. Muay Thai. Judo? Muay Thai's fine. Good. What's the difference between them, though? Well, Muay Thai's a lot of kicking. And you know what I like? The 
the, the Muay Thai kickboxing when, when you grab the back of the neck oh and you Muay Thai the knee, the face of the knee. Yeah, that Anderson Silva did that a, a lot. Yeah, he would grab yeah, the head. Yeah, yeah, grab the head and do Jeet that. Jeet Kundu from China. Whoa, that's just a guy. That's yeah. You just talk to him for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. yeah, it's just a conversation. What else? Oh, is Aikido. There? Aikido is with swords. Aikido's right? good. Yeah. Isn't that with uh, samurais? Yeah. Look at Japan's fucking dominating, by the way. Non-aggressive. Oh, Aikido's not aggressive. Never mind. Bro, I've been watching Ken Burns' World War II documentary, and the Japanese... Brutal. They were cray-cray. They were not. They were insane. I know. They went everywhere. They, they, dude, imagine invading China. They went it, to China. That's why I like them, though. Ball, yeah, yeah. The balls on those guys. Right. But it's like they went to the Philippines. They went everywhere, and they did so many crazy things. <laughs> a lot of bad shit. <laughs> they did so many bad things. <laughs> Scraping people and yeah. like cutting. You know? Pretty gross. It's gross. And then we got them back. Did we not? We got them, baby. We hit bow, 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 right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, no, it was really... What's so funny? Is that bad? No. It is true. It is true, yeah. It's, it's you know... and They were nuts in a good way, though. They were fun. Imagine crashing a plane with you inside of it. The balls, the fucking balls to what? be like, you got to stay in it. They're like, no jump out. They're like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you stay in it. Yeah. Oh, in okay. Inside it. I'm literally inside or just metaphorically inside. <laughs> no, no. Your spirit and your body are inside. Oh, the so plane. my body. Yeah, you're in it. No. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay, take this. What is this? Just take it. Okay. Go ahead. Take it. How about now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were ja you know they were jacked up on, uh, me on on methamphetamine. You know that, right? Oh, they were? You don't know about this? You never heard this? No. Same thing with the Nazis. It's the exact same shit. Meth, huh? Yeah, they were on fucking methamphetamine. That's amazing. So they would get them jacked up out of their fucking mind, kamikaze pilots, and then they would just, they'd be like, we gotta do it! <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you something. I would say I would do it, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what I would do. If I could tuck it behind your ear and use it for later. <laughs> no, well, not no. In terms of like the bonsai thing, the yeah. kamikaze shit I mean, yeah. right? I would eject. You would <laughs> shoot out. Right before I hit, I would, they would see just a random Japanese guy waiting in the water. But they'd, be, they'd also see your parachute and be like, what? Did you pack a shoot? No, I lost weight. <laughs> I lost weight in the ocean. Oh. This is my swimsuit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But can I say another thing? Huh? Is that in this documentary? So there were some islands that had Japanese civilians living. They had towns and stuff, right? Yeah. And once the Americans or the Allies took over the island, the Japanese um, citizens they just jumped off the cliff because their the Emperor Hirohito said, "You can't surrender, so you have to kill yourself." No surrender, no so retreat. So people just jumped off cliffs. So oh. they they would find like civilians just in the water with <gasps> babies, and they, that's how crazy they were. They were so indoctrinated. Into you know I mean this dude nationalism nationalism it's they insane. believed well it's they crazy. believed yeah you know yeah sometimes you gotta believe Viator I'm telling you right now I'm going to Hawaii and I'm gonna use Viator Ooh. Ooh. Viator has over three hundred thousand bookable travel experiences in over one hundred ninety countries you do it right I love it because they you offer love adventures everything you yeah, love well, adventures they offer everything from simple tours to extreme adventures that's the thing did I go on a little volcano hike yes I did thanks to Viator it was incredible but you don't have to go that big you can do something smaller you can do a little a tiny excursion to cute little coffee shops you never know what they've got on there because there's so many cool things they're constantly throwing up on Viator. They offer everything from simple tours to extreme adventures. With over 300,000 bookable experiences in 190 countries, there's something for everyone. Plus, Viator's travel experiences have millions of real traveler re reviews, so you have the information you need to book the best activities for your trip. Here's the best part. When I was just uh, in Hawaii, there's all these uh, million different programs trying to get you to go like swim with stingrays or go swim with the dolphins and all that stuff. And you don't know who to trust or what reviews because a lot of it is all generated from computers and machines. But with Viator, they tell you straight up from user experiences, here's what was good about it. Here's what was not cool about it. Here's what we liked, we didn't like. So you know there's nothing hidden. It's incredible. Download the Viator app now and use code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking. One app, over 300,000 experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator! Manscaped Cannonballs! Hey, 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 this summer it's not about the size of those cannonballs. It's about making a splash with our friends at Manscaped! Prep for bar barbecue season by making sure your grill master has the hottest dogs the summer's ever seen. 
when you're at the cookout, let the meat speak for itself with Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. It's time to get ready and not sweaty by going to manscaped.com and using code BADFRIENDS for 20% off and free shipping. Here's the best part about the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Let me tell you something. Tell me about it's it. It's got cutting edge ceramic blade technology. It's going to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. And I've said this before on this show. Have I nicked my sack a few times in the past? Yes. I have. Have I with Manscaped uh, uh, Lawnmower 4.0? No. Never. Never nicked a sack, okay? Never once. And now they also got the crop preserver, ball deodorant, that keeps you cool from sunrise to sunset and you're smelling real good in case someone's going down there for a little after hours picnic. Ooh, and Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxers Mm -hmm. and the Shed Travel Bag. The Shed Travel Bag is great. I actually use it with me on tour. It's so durable. It's beautiful leather. And I got to tell you, you wearing sandals with some nasty toenails during the summer months? Because a lot of people are. Andres, I'm looking at you. Take a look at the Shears 2.0 Luxury Nail Grooming Kit. They got it all for Manscaped. What are you waiting for? So to get 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com and use code BADFRIENDS. Manscaped, the perfect way to get your patty sizzling hot this summer. Like, like, watch this. Play a cricket who lives in <laughs> Alabama. Cricket, <laughs> cricket. Wait. <laughs> going on? I'm a cricket. Mm-hmm. You don't have to tell us what you are. Just uh, oh shit, shit, yeah. Just read the lines. All right. Uh, sorry, sorry, man. Just read the lines. You know, it's a dinner date. Hey, yo. Yeah. My name is Bob Hoskins. Is it? What, is that a real person? It says Bob Hodgkins, like lymphoma. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like lymphoma. Hey, yo. He has cancer. <laughs> is that the cricket noise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cricket, cricket, cricket. My name is Bob. Ah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guy. You know what? <laughs> I think it's safe to date this girl. I'm not good, right? No. Give me another shot. <laughs> Give me something else. Uh, you, you, go ahead, Juice. You got one. What yep. character can you play? Okay, you are a dragon. A dragon. And you just... relax. You don't even know the fucking scene yet. <laughs> I know, but I gotta get into dragon mode. You just woke up uh, <laughs> from 300 years of slumber. <laughs> that part he'll kill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of giving it a softball here. Yeah. And uh, it's a softball player. It's a softball playing dragon. <laughs> yeah. What? Who just woke up for 300 years of sleep, and you're at the championship game, and you're at the plate. Yeah. And the and the catcher is talking shit. Or uh, wait, what's well, I wake up? <laughs> Where's my bat? Where's my bat? Hey man, just step up and hit the ball. Will you? Uh, that's it that's really good thank you I know. well you do one then <laughs> fucking make a character I'll do it right now alright high energy easy right high energy almost meth like mm. right <laughs> speedy speedy mm. sloth <laughs> <laughs> a sloth mm. yeah yeah mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's lines. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's lines, sir. Read the lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do me a favor. <laughs> Very good. Damn, that's, that's good, good. right? Yep. Yeah, a little slower, probably the language dialogue, but okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Do it again. <laughs> oh my God. He like hit it Slower. out of the park. I couldn't have done it any better. All right, all right. I, I feel all like right, you got to give me a yeah, yeah, You got to give me a yeah, You got it. You got it. Uh, yeah. I've been watching a lot of that fucking not Planet Earth, but it's like the Our Planet Two, and basically oh, I've seen Our Planet, Our Planet, the second one. Oh, yeah, the, well, and it, and this and this one's got a lot more killing. You know how the other one kind of they look away when the kill is about to happen. Yeah, not this one, dude. Yeah, Whoa. they showed little baby sea turtles trying to get to the water. Oh, dude, dude. It's awesome. Bro. Just a fucking bird just <laughs> coming yeah. down, just smoking it, dude. And one guy got flipped over by a bird, and the little turtle couldn't get back over, and a crab just came <laughs> and grabbed it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and went away. It was so dope. There was a one I saw where there was like iguanas in mid island. They have their babies, right? Yes. And the snakes yes. are just chilling, like, look at these idiots, right? <laughs> and they would just get them. And I'm like, you know what I mean? How about do it closer to the fucking water, bitch? <laughs> Show me how they get him. Show me. I like when you animate it. What? Look at look at the snake chilling. So look, they, you know, there he is. Eat Frankie. They're the uh, again. 
Another year. Stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah. So check this out. Look at the one right there. The little, uh, the, the one with the... Ah, uh, the juicy one. <laughs> well, I was going to say something else. What? I think it was born. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, say it. I know you don't want to get canceled, but say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that little one with the... I think it's missing a little hand. <laughs> okay. It's, and its spine is twisty. You oh know? no! Yeah, look at that one. Easy what do you pickings. call? Wait, wait, no. Oh, I'm having the best day no, of my life. Forget by this water. easy pickings. <laughs> what do you call that, Frankie? Frankie, what do you call that? It starts with an R. A Liz Tart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Liz Tart. Let's get him. <laughs> Wrap you up and take you down, baby. Uh, I feel bad for the iguana, but happy for the snakes. I know. Hold on a second. Oh, wow. He had to get his vape off the charger, dude. You—that's so funny. You made it out to be like you forgot you had to do something important. Yeah, right. like I'd... shit. I had to call my mom. No, it's just—it turned green. I was like, oh, "It's my time. It's my time." I thought we we're gonna put away vapes. I know. I just bit because it's Carlos's fault. There's no way those things. It's are not good. good. Those things. It's not good. My, you know what? Can I be honest with you? My right arm is tingly. <laughs> oh, well, like all smoke the time? up, baby. It like all the time. It tingles. And the other night, dude, something fucking happened. I literally thought I was having a stroke. So at 4.30 in the morning, I had a pinch in my back mm -hmm. where I went, ow, 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 I would like verbally said, ow, 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 ow. And I had to stand up and I had to bang my back against the wall to where it was hurting. But it was so excruciatingly hurtful and painful that I almost went to the hospital. With the pinch in your back, where? How high? Mid-back in the middle of my back, maybe off to the right a little bit, it fucking hurt that Like, bad. your right, it sounds like you might be talking about your heart. Your left, <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. Just making sure you were having my, a heart what, The back heart part. <laughs> the back heart part? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is the back heart part important? It's the whole, your whole back is your back heart part. Yeah, but is it important? Very. Okay. Yeah. It's probably yeah, the most important, they say. Okay. That's why they tell you to sleep on your side, not on your back. Yeah, I slammed it, and then eventually, I did some breathing exercises, and it, and it went away. What were they? <laughs> and I held my breath in and I calmed my nerves and it just slowly went away. Really? Yeah. I also did downward dog. Yeah, I love downward dog. I did downward dog and I did the, you know, I did some yoga stuff that I've learned, you know what I mean? Downward syndrome dog, yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, downward syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> downward. downward <laughs> yeah. I was doing downward syndrome dog and I and it eventually, you know, and doing those positions, you know. What eventually I, mean? I had my own Olympics. Yeah. You know what I saw when you when you said to me it reminded me when you said about him not being able to look you you not being able to look him in the eye. Mm. I saw the image of you, like looking down when he looks at you, and it made me really sad. Really? Yeah, because I want to just bring this back to the beginning. I love you so much. Thank I love you, you too. That's I feel all like I wanted. We moved past it. <laughs> no, honestly, no. but Jess, then you brought it back. I love up. you so much, and I talk about you all the time to people. Constantly, and I always go like, "Who's that creep staring at me over there?" No, I always say like, "Who do you think is the next thing up?" I I think she is. Well, you deserve you you deserve the continuation. You call you texted me the other day about bad news, but it ended up being really good news. Can what, was I, it, what was the bad news? I didn't get JFO. I didn't, but it but it. I, what? <laughs> but here's what. No, happened. What? What, no, what? Yeah, I know. I love you so much. No, what? What? Um, she didn't get. That's it. insane. Well. I was sad about it for a few hours, but I got over it because what happened was. I know. Trust me. No, 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 no. You no. Don't get over it. It's a war. <laughs> it's a war. Well. It's so no. No, no. It's a diss on us. Mm -hmm. It's a diss. They think that agents oh, by, have the power. By getting they over do. it, I meant it, it actually brought the power back into to what I want to do and what I want to create. I started bringing the trumpet back into my act and really just like feeling fearless of what I'm doing because I'm tired of like auditioning for a while. Yeah. I'm tired of like showing off for these people I want to like me. It's like maybe it's just not the time, you know, but I don't know if I'll it do it again. It is the time. <laughs> it, I fuck but, the trumpet. But I have so many people supporting me now. From bad friends, from you guys, like going on the road. Stop being positive. But here, let's go negative. <laughs> <laughs> let's stay in the dark place for a second, there, okay? There is a dark sliver to this where I'm like, I'm done doing this stuff. Right. I, I'm gonna focus on the support I have. War. <laughs> this we is go war. to war. But I'm so sorry to hear that. But I did find out after the fact that there already are agents scouting me. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, I, yeah. I, I've been asked from my people about you. They're out there, baby. See, They're yeah, out there. It, things are happening. You're on the map. I'm headlining. I, I'm going. I'm doing my own thing while we're at, but on break from the tour. Plug it. 
Yeah. Hey, hey, can I tell you something? No, say it right now. She's in Irvine. Irvine next Wednesday. That Oh, well, I should say. Oh, this is already out. But I can plug the two. Uh, I'm doing the Wise Guys. One that you took me to. Yeah. Okay. Keith has, is having me back doing one night at Salt Lake City and two nights in Vegas. The 27th in uh, Salt Lake City and the 28th and 29th in Vegas. Where? What, wait, of this month? Of July? Of July. July. So Salt Lake City, go see her. And Vegas, go see her wise guys. I went there with Polly, and I went to Salt Lake City with you. And yeah. that's where I met Keith as a feature, and now I'm coming back to Headline. It's awesome. It's Amazing. Cool. That's that's the kind of shit that I love to hear. See, that's the positive spin I like. And I just want to be Shout the best comedian I can be. That's all I'm looking at. They're, it seems like they're going after people who've already made a following. And no. They're, they're not really a new they're face. They're ticking like, boxes. Ticking boxes? Yes. Ticking bombs, are you saying? Boxes. Che checking, boxes. Che checking boxes. Oh, checking boxes. Yeah, I was okay. like, Did they're bombs. I was like, they're, they're ticking bombs. Like, they're, they're <laughs> no, ticking you're bombs. right. They're checking boxes. They're just whoosh. no. They're going. Oh, we we have the we have the you know the Puerto Rican blind guy. How is that guy? He's great. I've heard he cr does he really well. He crushes. He can't yeah. make it to the stage half the time. Yeah, he keeps falling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does stand up sometimes from the side of the room. <laughs> And sometimes he doesn't show up to the venue because he has to. Like a lot of times, I see he hits his eyes and goes, "Is this thing on?" Right, which that's, is a funny joke. That's a funny bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a funny bit. That's a good one. And then, um, you know, the nine foot three Nigerian female who happens to be, you know, what I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. You know Wait, what the mean? girl from the girl from the WNBA? Yeah, she's doing stand up. Now? She's awesome. I look up to her so much. Yeah, so she, you know, what I mean, they have, you know, they check boxes like, do we have? And you're who else are they checking? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just tell me some of the other people that they're checking. Yeah, the Irish black guy who also has to be a dwarf, but he also has bilingual issues. Bilingual oh, issues? Yeah. He's, He's talking about Laquan Murphy. Yes. <laughs> Laquan Murphy and he, is really he good. Can, he mixes the two languages. Like, he sometimes will, one word would be Korean. Right. The next word would be fucking, you know what I mean? I think you said Irish black guy. <laughs> That's what's crazy but about it. But he speaks it. Korean? And Portuguese. <laughs> which is what's what? crazy about it. What a hook. What? what a hook. I gotta yeah, tell you. I I'm, actually kind of get I'm it. I'm always on board for our games. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can do that. What? I was going to try to do Portuguese, <laughs> Korean, I was black guy. Yeah. Out of all the things, yeah. I think you've stumped, you, you've yeah, stumped me. I know. I'm giving you a challenge. It's so hard. I know. Will you try? Korean, <laughs> Korean black, Irish, Portuguese yeah, guy. Yeah. No, but the language <laughs> is one word is in Korean, the other one's yeah. in Portuguese. Give it a go. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Give it a go, give it a go, give it a go. So hard. I know, I know. It's so hard. this is hard. the challenge of your Wait, life. Wait, say it again. I don't even quite understand it. So he's a, um, a black Irishman, <laughs> okay. right, who happens to be a dwarf. No, oh, what? He's a little person <laughs> yeah, as well? Yeah, but that doesn't mean. It's just the voice is different. I didn't know. The voice is more like this. You know what oh. I mean? Oh. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the voice is different. You can change the voice. But it's in the language, right? So you need to do, you know, one word in Korean. You can make that up. If you don't even know. Goju <laughs> Jeng <laughs> Is that him? That's there him. There it is. Dude, that's him. That's but him. it's got to be yeah. higher. Yeah. Goju <laughs> Jeng That ever famous. That's it. that's it. He's good. I like a, that He'll guy. get a deal from HBO right there. Who do you think, who else got got the, their box ticked? <laughs> <laughs> you know Why do you keep asking me? Because you know all the comics that got their right. box ticked. Yeah. You know some of the comics that right. got right. your right. finger on the pulse. Your finger's on the pulse of the right. box. Right. Well, cool. they, There's... I know one. Well, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, They're half and half. Half um, and half what? Cream uh, and milk? Gender. Oh. oh. <laughs> half and half. So they're gender non-specific, <laughs> but it's yeah. like, uh, I know what it is. I know what you, I know, I've seen that person. You know who I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's like Harvey Two-Face. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right. Wow. So it so literally it's, it's is half, a dick. half, yeah, half man, half women from the yeah. down the it's line. It's half this way, right? So the, there's well, lipstick on this side of the mouth. That I've seen her. Yeah, but they're she's like, great. Yeah, wait, she's great. They, they're great. They, they're, oh my bad. They're they great. Are you my kidding bad. me? My but bad. So it's half a dick and one ball. Well, we yes. can't ask. We well, can't we didn't ask. ask. Yeah, you can't ask. Well, I shouldn't ask. I shouldn't even know. I shouldn't even ask. I shouldn't even know. Yeah, I mean, you know what? That could happen, and I'm just throwing it out there, science wise. And I've read this on, you know, I mean, theories, but when you open up her vagina, there's a penis inside it. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, that is their opening. Yeah, yeah. But how do you feel about not ever being on a list of anything? Um, I mean this with all my heart. Yeah. I couldn't fucking care less. Yeah. yeah. I care so fucking little about that. It's, I maybe, sometimes I think I should care. And mm. then I go, no, I don't fucking give a shit. Yeah. But like when a friend gets it, stoked. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't be happier when someone I know because I don't care about it. But I don't know. I, no, I don't fucking give a shit at all. Rejection can be a positive thing, though. 
Well, you deal with it your whole life. Your whole career is fucking yeah, it get does, out of here. You stink. It does motivate you, though, to like it's get rid of any expectations or pressure. Yeah. Because it was like, okay, if no one's fucking with me anyway, then and that's how you get in your head when you feel rejected. Even though many people are fucking Yeah, many with people you. do, Even but if, you just kind of uh, feel free to yeah. create, and that you should feel like that all the time. Totally. There, Dave, the, our TV show Dave got one Emmy nomination. Oh, Did congratulations. we talk about this? Yeah, what, congratulations. This is so, so funny. Soundtrack? Yeah. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, shoes. We got but we're both of best shoes. <laughs> no, 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 what is it? What is it? It's uh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt got nominated for best guest star in a comedy series. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to win. Yeah, but that's oh, so cool. He's not going to come, gonna come close. Uh, because Ted Lasso is going to fucking sweep it again like every like it does every time. Brad Pitt, best comedy guest actor for Dave. They do. He's never won an Emmy, I don't think. Oh. And so this is like their shot, I guess. But it's not going to fucking happen. But it won't be SNL. And if it's not her, Leslie Odom Jr., it'll be Nathan Lane or Only Murders. Because he's fucking... Un Have you seen that show? Uh-uh. I heard it's great. It's fucking nonstop good to me. Did you guys watch The Idol? No, I've heard Ugh. that. I'm going to watch it. Let's go back to the... I'll, I'll go to The Idol. Yeah. Okay. What, 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 tell me about it. What? The one that... Only Murders? Yeah. Steve Martin, Martin Short. I know what it is. Is it great? It's phenomenal. I'm going to watch it. I think it's so good. I, I think it's so good it. because they're so low. I love the it's kitschy. Legends. It's kitschy. It's a little old fashioned. It's kitschy. Yeah. It's but it's aware of itself. Like mm -hmm. it's very self aware. It knows it's kitschy, but it's wonderful. <laughs> and Steve Martin and Martin Short. Martin Short might be one of the fucking funniest humans to ever walk the earth. The way he's like this, he's so like <laughs> he's so theatrical. His manner is <laughs> yeah, yeah. so good, man. He's so funny. But yeah, Dave, Brad Pitt got a nom for Dave. I think that was the only nomination. You know who I took a photo with the other day? Did I tell you about this? Mm -mm. He was so nice. Is Chevy Chase. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Love Chevy I also Chase. got to meet him once. Yeah, he He's... was so nice. Was he at the club? Yeah. Well, his daughter works at the club. Yeah, and I walked off stage, and then he goes, Robert, do you want a photo? Let's take a photo. Well, he kind of volunteered it, and I took a photo with him. I was just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. That's so because cool. Because I've been so, like, intimate. Because, yep, dude, Fletch, fucking Caddish. I mean, Everything. you name it. Yeah. Vacation. I mean, yeah. legend. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, so nice. And you'd heard things too that maybe he's a little weird, but I didn't see that. All I ever heard was that they and they'd been public about it that he was tough to work with. Sometimes. Yeah, but no. Do you think so people nice. say that about you? Tough to work with sometimes. Do well, you... I mean, you know, Aries Spears just did uh, ta my other podcast. I know you know me, right? We don't say the word. By the way, we surpassed them in subscribers last week. Who? Woo -woo. Tiger Billy. We surpassed them. Bad friends. Good. Yeah, it should be. That's right. Because you and I are wham. We're wham. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wah and you're am. Yeah. But I remember Aries going, um, yeah, you pooed, you know what I mean, in my dressing room or something. I was like, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Tough to work with. Not in the toilet, on the ground. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's well, that's because back home, they just have a hole in the ground. No, those are on a TV show. But I mean, where you're from, don't you guys poop in holes? You mean from San Diego? San Diego. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? Is San, San, Diego, San Diego, South Korea? Is yes. That, oh. We say it like, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. San Diego. Oh, San you mean San Diego, California? No, no. San Diego. No, I've been having the best sleep of my entire life. You have? I got to tell you, I've got the remedy. I texted Taylor Tomlinson two nights ago. That's it? That's the that's that's solution? <laughs> if you text Taylor Tomlinson right before you go to bed, she gives you like a little soliloquy. To oh, I didn't know. I'll text her tonight then. She goes, rest your head. You, you, yeah. You'll soon be dead. Mm. It's unfortunate that your hair is red. And I went to bed. I'll do that tonight, like that. No, seriously, I texted her because I saw her t post something on Instagram about... Um, not being able to sleep after coming back from Australia. She just got back and I said, I swear to God, I thought this was so stupid, but I cut out coffee for a little bit when I got back because a buddy was like, cut out coffee for a couple of days so your body's not like humming on as much caffeine as you usually do. And then right before you go to bed, drink a, a warm glass of milk. And I thought, yeah, right. And I did, <laughs> I swear to God, I passed out. And I've been doing it now if I have a little bit of trouble sleeping. A warm glass of milk and I'm- I'm lactose. They get a lactose-free warm glass of fucking okay, milk. Um, I don't know, you uh, new age I, pussy. No, but I, I don't want diarrhea in the middle of the night. That's even funnier. <laughs> you sleep like a baby just shitting yourself yeah. the whole night. Just... <laughs> Let me ask you another question. Just get a bed Can I ask you a question? plastic sheets. <laughs> if, if you're... Are you really lactose intolerant? I am. I never knew that about you. Oh, yeah. We eat cheese and shit all the time together. And yeah. ice cream. Yeah, we eat ice cream together. And you're not there for the aftermath. That's true. Send us a video. <laughs> Wait, do you it's take, a disaster. You just have to take lactate? Is that what you do? Last night I had to. I was a big Bob's big boy. And the person I was with, he gave me my uh, lactate. Who was it? Some girl I'm hanging out with. Is this a new love interest? 
Well, I was going to ask you something. Yeah. Is it okay to date a girl who's also thinking about she had one open mic? Oh, it's dangerous. This is really dangerous. I know. I think the fact but that I even like her and asking. I told her, I go, listen, you know, I, you know, it, I've been in these situations before. It generally doesn't work out. You know what I mean? Because we're just in two different places. Mm -hmm. She's like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? And it's like, I want to support her because I think she can do it, you know? Sure, yeah. But it's like, I don't know if I want... But it's tough to be the beginning what do you guys of someone's think? career. That's tough. Yeah. That's a tough place to be. And like, no how do you set boundaries? You know what I mean? Well, that's going to be harder. Because I've done it before and it, this is what always happens. How come I... You don't ask me to open. Yeah. And then you do and then you're dealing... <laughs> it sucks. And then it sucks. No, I'll tell you what sucks about it. Is you start taking on their nervousness. Oh. Like one time, I, you know, I took a girl that was a comic that mm -hmm. was dating op to open for me. And she wasn't featuring. She had a five minute guest spot. Yeah. And she was pacing back and forth, backstage. Uh. Like, I, I gotta kill, man. I gotta kill. And, like, and I was taking on her nervousness. And in my mind, I'm like, this doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because I have to focus on my um, headlining. You could date a girl who's a comic who's established. I think yeah, it'd yeah. be harder to date someone that's starting out. Yeah. yeah. Do you really like this person? I do, but look at me in the eyes. I do. You do. Yeah, but were you looking at my ear or my eyes? Your uh, ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely your ears. Wait a minute. You really do like her, though. Yeah, I mean, she's cool. I like her a lot. But I'm just saying it's a, it's an it's an issue. That's dangerous. It's so dangerous. It sucks. How man. many girls have slept over at the house since you've been single? Have made, sleep sleep over through the night into the morning. Sleep over one. One, mm. one girl, mm -hmm. and in the morning, how does that go? Because you're interesting in the morning. <laughs> I don't sleep, right? So you just stay up all night staring. No, at I'm them. just staring at the ceiling. Yeah. Do you ever think? Oh, about... oh no, sometimes I do this though. <laughs> sometimes I, I'll like I'll be like this, and I'll look over at my PlayStation, and I'll look back on the sky because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to be. Why doing. don't you just put a, a screen on the ceiling? Oh, that'd be oh. cool. Why wouldn't you do you that? Play on your back. Then you just play on your back oh, the that's whole amazing. night. Amazing. Let's do it. You can afford it. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy that's that for really you for cool. Christmas. I'm going to install that's one really of those. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, because then you don't have to wake her up. You don't yeah. have to get up. So one girl slept over in the morning. I'm seeing one girl that goes. Do, do I'm seeing this other girl right now? It's How many people are on your roster? You got you got a football <laughs> team or a basketball team? <laughs> I'm only physically seeing one person. No, no, no. I but it, I know that. I'm not trying to call you out. I'm saying, how many people are you talking to? Football team. Football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. But I'm seeing this one girl, she, and she, she goes, this is the best. Up front, she's like, first of all, we're never going to sleep on the same bed. I can't sleep next to somebody. Cool. And in my mind, I went, ding. Yes. Right? And she goes, um, also, if we hypothetically ever live together, she goes, I need to sleep in either a different house or a different room. This is even better. You I, I love went, this. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked her a question. I go, so if I said to you, I want to play 12 hours of video games, right? What do you, she goes, I don't give a fuck. It's your life. Ding. <laughs> right? And the only negative, she has a penis. <laughs> no, okay. <Bong>. She has... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the only, there's no negative. But my point is, is that, and then like, so she's been, you know, at my house and she's always like, right after we have, you know, hookup, she's like, are you going to call me an Uber? She's ready to go. Yeah. It's really hey, cool. Hey. Yeah. It's this really a cool. lot of dings. Yeah. Have you been dating anybody? No. You're keeping it celibate. I bought new pedals for my trumpet. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. That's Holy hot. shit. I've gone full into my stand up. Uh, You're diving deep into you. Yeah. I really like that. Good for you. You <sighs> new pedals for your trumpet? Yeah, I, I have this amp, and you can. I have the mute I showed you guys. It's like an electronic mute, and you mm. can plug it into guitar pedals and switch the sound up. I'm just so you're really using the money wisely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all going back into the art. She really is, dude. But why is that? Because I will make it back. I know, but when, no. my point is, is why are you um, cutting off a very important aspect of the human experience? <laughs> Which is, you know, love intimacy. Will Fucking and sucking. Yeah, love yeah. will come. I have to, uh, <laughs> but I have Slow to down. <laughs> Slow down, bud. Because you don't always get to come. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, go. But I have... And I'm also headlining in Austin. I'll we pitch already, that really we quick. already did that already. <laughs> we did the so pitching. I have and, uh, five hours to go through. Eventually, I'm I'm gonna have to do more tapings if I want. Like I really have to focus right now. Yeah. And I really want to deliver a good product for people. But that, that never to goes away, though. Yeah, That's you the you do have to have a balance of life and love and happiness and work and all because all that stuff will crash down. Otherwise, you'll just be focused on one thing and then it'll all 
I just feel really hungry right now for like. Well, that's good. Then if it's if it's servicing you, then you should. But yeah. don't deny the other stuff. No, I won't. And I also don't go out in L.A. Like, yeah, do you well, guys go out? You at the store tonight? No, no. My my best friend's coming to town, so I'm the next couple so you're nights. Gonna go out. Well, we might tomorrow. No, well, do we go out? No, I don't fucking go out. I went out with my parents this weekend because they were here for the fourth. We went out and had a fucking blast. How come I didn't see your parents? Honestly, be real. You don't want to introduce me? I t- no. I took them. I we every single day we went out to do a thing, and it was, it's a lot. But I want to meet them. I know, dude. But it was so much. I've of never what... met your mother. I know. Carlos met them. Fancy. Car- Carlos, Why would you bring that Carlos, up? Carlos, <laughs> Carlos met them because he was here. It was so funny. I they we were we were getting we were getting breakfast, and I said, "Hey, we're near the studio." You know, actually, I didn't even offer it. Someone else did. And then my mom was like, can I see this? And I said, yeah, I guess. So we walk over here and I open the door and it stinks like fucking weed. Wow. And I mean, reeks of, like someone was ripping fucking So he six smokes, foot. does drugs in your fucking. You smoke weed? Carlos. Oh, Carlos. I thought, so that's fa- Carlos? I thought I opened the door. Was there too. I opened the door and Carlos <laughs> is shit face stoned on the couch like this. And he goes, hey, Andrew, what's up, man? And he closes his laptop. I go, what are you doing here, man? And he was like, I'm waiting for um, packages for fan stuff. And I was like, okay. And he met your parents? And I was like, here's my parents. <laughs> and they were, and they like, were like, hey, yeah, they were like, who's that like mini me Larry David guy that we met? And I, then my mom goes, who is that man? And I said, he, we kind of taken him in like yeah. astray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I let him sleep in the studio because he doesn't really have a place to live. Did they stay at your parent, your house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they so you just spent like, a lot of time with your. Folks, we sat huh? by the pool and talked. Oh, and that's nice. We talked about uh, all the controversial stuff that you want to get into with your parents. Bud Light. Right. You know. Yeah. Good. 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 good, good, good. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> good, good. Good. We good. spent four days talking about Bud Light. If I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. No, but then we took them to go watch the fireworks because we get to we get, I get to go see a special fireworks show because I'm a special. Yeah, player. I've never seen that. Fire. What? I've ne- I was at the Fourth of July. I remember sitting by myself. I was playing Elden Ring again, mm-hmm. and in the distance here, pew, pew, psh, 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 and I realized, I go, oh, I've never seen that. You've never gone to watch fireworks. I've, I've seen it in the movies where I'm like, oh, that's what the fireworks look like. So I've never seen it in real life. I don't believe you. Well, he's walked outside and seen them. He's not, he means he's never like been near a show. In the oh. distance, no, like in the distance, <laughs> like from far away, I'll go, oh, what's that? A nuclear bomb? Oh no, it's fireworks. Fireworks, right? <laughs> right. Sometimes it could be nuclear. It's in your DNA yeah, to feel yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like I've never like been. No one's ever called. Hey, let's go to the beach and watch. I don't know if they do at the beach. They, but I'm sure they do it. Like that? that? Like up close? I've never seen that. It's so dope. I will, will invite me next time, somebody. Okay. I'm Seriously. being real. Yeah, we do. We we do it right here, and they uh, they put it right over our heads. I don't get invited to anything. I would have. No, 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 no! Don't do that. You that's wouldn't have come to the thing. I. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to go to things that you get invited. To. I think that's a. Um... Well, then start to change it. Change what? Start I'm to... saying right now, I'm willing to go anywhere if... with anybody. So everyone and everyone, <laughs> anyone that's listening, yeah, ask them. Ask me. You it's... have to say yes for a week. <gasps> Whatever I say, you have to be say yes. For yeah, a I'll do week. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do. Well, it's not like. Easter egg, egg hunting. I don't want to do that. Well, why? See, this is interesting. No, I don't want to do that. Well, why? It's dumb. Why? Because I have eggs in my fridge. Yeah, but these are colored. And oh. sometimes you have white eggs. You fucking oh, fuck. bigot. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend.